The Dark Archer reveals himself in Green Arrow issue 14. As the police scramble to get to Quinn Industries field, Oliver chases down the Archer responsible for killing Cy Sampson. As he chases him through the stadium, the Archer continues to kill players and innocents alike. Finally confronting him on the roof of the airship above the stadium, Oliver learns that the Archer is Malcolm Merlin, the original Dark Archer. We learn from Malcolm that he was trained by Ra's al Ghul and the League of Assassins. The police along with the disguised Black Canary arrive, surprised to find two archers. Malcolm fires on the police chief, causing Oliver to dive in front of him, using his own bow and body to catch the arrow, breaking both the bow and the arrow in the process. So the Dark Archer has finally been revealed and Malcolm Merlin and what's interesting is that they've decided to use the Arrow origin of Malcolm Merlin this time, you know, with his ties to the League of Assassins and Ra's al Ghul and all that. And I find it interesting since I remember them saying that the movies and TV shows wouldn't really dictate how the comics go and, you know, stuff from how they are portrayed in those wouldn't mold on over into the comics. But I guess it shouldn't come too much as a surprise to me and I'll since stuff like Supergirl in the comics is literally the TV show version now. She's working with the DO and National City and all that sort of stuff. Apart from the Malcolm reveal, this issue was kind of short on story and the chase was cool. I like seeing him chase Malcolm through the stadium and everything as Malcolm's killing people and killing them in the name of Green Arrow using the Green Arrow arrows and everything. But Black Canary's job is to discover the Archer's identity and it has been since she decided to go dress up as a cop and try and infiltrate to get the arrowhead and everything and it's kind of useless since Oliver finds out who he is himself so I guess they needed her to do something since she was kind of just in the background this whole time but I don't know why she couldn't have gone after that vice squad that we saw a couple of issues back that were going around town killing people that would have been really cool um it would have been cool seeing her track down the different squads around the city and everything that would have been really cool uh, and it would have given her something to do as well. I'm going to give this issue a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.